Question 3. Find the length of unknown sides and then find sine, cosine and tangent of each marked angle. So this is a right triangle given to us where C is 90 degrees. Angle B is the marked angle for which you need to find sine, cosine and tangent. So right triangle has two sides given to us, hypotenuse of 10 and one of the legs as 6 units. To find the other side, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, right? So let's say the other side is side A, right? So we know A square plus 6 square is equals to 10 square, right? So from here, what is A equals to? So A equals to 10 square is 100. Let me first write 10 square minus 6 square square root, right? So that is A and this is equal to square root of 100 minus 36. So you can use the calculator and then figure out the answer. So 100 minus 36 is 64. So square root of 64 which is 8. So we have side A as 8. Correct? So we know the sides now. So let me find out what the trigonometric ratios are. So I'll write 8 here for CB. Now to find trigonometric ratios sine, cosine and tangent. So here's a quick reminder. Sine is a ratio of opposite over hypotenuse and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse tan is opposite over adjacent side right so we'll use these relations to find the ratios sine of given angle b right so that's the sine of b is equals to opposite to b is 6 right so let's write first opposite over hypotenuse right i'm repeating these things so that you remember them so b is 6 opposite and hypotenuse of 10. So 6 over 10. So that is the value of sine b which can be reduced to 3 over 5 dividing both by 2. And now what is cos of b? So cos of b is adjacent side over hypotenuse, right? So adjacent is 8 which we just calculated over hypotenuse 10. Now we can divide them also by 2 and get 4 over 5 as cosine b. Tangent b is equals to opposite over adjacent. Now opposite is 6, adjacent is 8, right? So this is 3 over 4. So these are the values for sine, cosine and tangent for the marked angle. As a practice, so as a practice exercise, I would like you to find the values of sine of a, cos of a, and tan of a, right? So find sine a, cosine a, and tan a. And see how sine a is related with cos b. Check if they are same or not. See the relation between sine a and cos b. See the relation between cos a and sine b, right? So that will give you some more insight to the triangle. Thank you and all the best.